besides Lisa, yes. the, oh. the girls, and my mother. Your ratings do indicate Yeah, they do. When, when you're on, watch. they go up by three people and your mom, if you could. Yeah. But um, Don't forget Maggie. And Maggie, the other blonde in your life, right? Right. But um, boom we got to get that sound effect. Okay. Uh, but, brother, I mean, this guy sees the show, hears about the Pinch Foundation. He says, God, i got a kid who needs help. And then he calls you. What's that conversation sound like? He said, hi, Frank. I saw you on Call the Cops, and I have a young man that's in need of a chairlift for his front stairs, and I've been running up against obstacle after obstacle about trying to get it. It costs roughly in the range of $4,000. And I heard that your organization may be inclined to help in situations like this. And I assured them by all means. But I also said that we have one annual fundraiser. Yep. And our funds are not that large. Yep. I'm, hopefully someday they will be that large yep. that we could just say, boom, 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 $4,000 is a drop. Yep. But I also said to them, but don't worry. This will happen. We'll get it done. Because I believe in the kindness of strangers and, mm -hmm. and the goodwill of the public. Yep. And I just said, $4,000, it's 100 people, $40 each. We won't, we won't, 400 <laughs> right, people right. times 10. We get you. We, we you know, know the math. $4,000 each. But you say it's going to happen. But I said, it just, it's yep. going to happen. We'll just go ask yep. people. You know, so as we proceeded, you know, it turned out it wasn't going to be as easy. But I kept telling Dennis, Den and Dennis would call me, yeah. he's just a good-hearted guy, he's just a good-hearted man, yep. a good-hearted man, and he'd feel, you know, like, oh, Frank, I don't want to bother you, and Dennis, you're not bothering me, right. this is going to happen. This is what it's about, Dennis. So, stories like the stories of the story of right. Chris Resendez, this is why we have the foundation. You may, the viewers may recall, and you may recall, there was an incident back in Cambridge with an officer going up to Professor, Professor Gates' front porch, and it, it caused a, yeah. a national controversy. I vaguely remember that story, A clarion yes. call for a discussion about race. Yes. And about a week or two after that, there was a shooting up in the Bowdoin Street area mm -hmm. where at least one, I think, two people died. That yeah. was the one with the cook in the kitchen. Yep, and, yep, you know, yeah. The misfired shot. And so I said, wait a minute here. We have a call throughout our Commonwealth city country for discussion on race. And we have Dennis double from, homicide. Dennis from, yep. What about the human race? Yep. What about a non-ethnic discussion about the human race? The kindness of one person who happens to be white yep. helping another person who happens to be a minority. Mm -hmm. What about the human race? Let's, let's erase you know, that, which, which I consider sometimes, it's not a healthy discussion, yeah. per se, if your motives aren't clean. Sure. So, here's a man who just wants to help another man. Let's boil it's it down race. to people trying to help people. I picked up you the phone. You couldn't ask for a better example of that. No. And I said, I know the man who could help this. I know the man who could, you, he would just understand when you, when I, so I called Peter Gilles. Peter Gilles and, and I told him what I just told you in the yep. viewers. What about a story in the human race? This is the need. Can you help me finish? Here's the story. Peter said, I'll meet you there tomorrow morning. Yep. Peter met us there at the house. Yep. He interviewed Chris and Dennis, wrote the story. Yep. The day after the story came out, the standard... Within the story, though, it said donations to... The Pinch Foundation. Yep. Okay. But day after the story. The standard stair lift company, yep. you've seen the commercial on television, sure. they stepped up... Time, materials, labor for zero. For zero. For Within zero. four days of the story coming out, the lift was in operation. Chris was using it. Within four days, why this company, kindness, yep. complete strangers, yep. and the money that came in. An opportunity, though, thanks to you, to, to do the right thing, make a difference. It was an opportunity, and we did it. And the money that came in, next thing you know, an account is opened up yep. in Chris's name. Sure. He has a, you know, a few dollars, help you out. Yep. In, some things you might need. As a matter of fact, there's going to be more money. I love it. To them, so. We get a minute or so to go. Two quick questions. Feel good story. Again, you're doing the good work you do. What was Chris Resendez's reaction to all this? Or yes. Dennis Walsh? What did these guys say to you? Well, they both couldn't believe it. And it, gratitude personified in 
that Dennis, his next response is, will you please help me know, help me and let me know if there's any way I can help the Pinch Foundation yeah. in the future. In other words, he wants to keep giving. Yep. Chris was overwhelmed, thankful. I'm so thankful to everyone out there that gave, complete strangers, mm -hmm. you know, just one couple, I have to tell you this quickly, in Dorchester, they said, we live on the third floor of a three-decker. We understand what it's like to go up ten, uh, three flights of stairs and close this $10. We wish it could be more. But that's if what it was it's about. 50 cents. Yep. I mean, but it, you some, give them what you can. Sure. Before we say goodnight, six, I want just Frank Sullivan, hit the phone number again if we could, Dave, just flash it up there. Oh, even better. Pinch Foundation, everybody. P.O. Box 3200. 61. 61. Not 69. Six That's my mistake. I was the one who screwed that up. 320061. Six one. West Roxbury, Mass. Yeah, oh, how that, good huh? is this crew? The magic of, uh, of thank TV. You. Thank West you. West Roxbury, Mass. 02132. To call Frank directly, 617. No heavy breathing when you call him. 838-7362. Again, please write down that number, 617-838-7362. We are out of time. Tonight's guest, Frank Sullivan. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. This guy. Thank you to Say everyone here. Say goodnight to Lisa and the, and the girls. Good night, everyone. Good night, Thanks for girls. watching, girls. Lisa, Till next week. Everyone, I love you. Week. And everyone out there, thank you so much. I love you, so you too, much. Frank. I love you, too. Till next week, everybody. Have a great week. Thanks for watching Call the Cops. And uh, we'll see you here next Wednesday, same time. Good night, everybody.